everyone, and welcome to a new video. We're off on a trip down to Lowestoft. It's obviously already dark, as you can see. It's for uh, six o'clock in the evening. It's quite a foggy night, and it's probably going to be quite damp by the time we get down there. It's sort of a last-minute trip, so we haven't bought any bait or anything. We've just got some fish baits from out of the freezer, basically. So we're gonna, just going to give it a little go, probably a six-hour session. Just have a little go, see if we can catch a few fish. And go from there, really. So, sit back, grab a cup of tea, some of the nibble on, and enjoy the trip. So, as you can see here, we've got nice thick fog. <laughs> can already see cars coming in the distance. So it should be a fun night. So I've just got into last off and this pulls out in front of me. A little Rob Reliant thing, but not just any old Rob Reliant. It's been painted matte black, it's got roof spoilers, got big bore exhaust straight through system on it. And he's giving it the big in them. <laughs> well, it was a bit of fun so I turned on the camera. So, welcome to North Beach Lowestoft. No wandering down the beach to my gear. Just took it all down at the car. Nice foggy night, flat calm sea. Get set up and I'll speak to you in a bit. So today I've got lots of new toys to try and make the filming better in the dark, as you can see. In the shelter, it's much brighter now due to a light that I bought. Got some new toys as well. Got a Rampage 2 surf pen, 15 foot 9 rod, and the new Surf Blaster 3. So we'll get these out, give them a go. I'll do a proper review on them once I've used them a few times, and we see what they actually like. If I like them, I'll be buying another set. So I've got a pair. We'll go from there. Right, I'll get my gear set up, and I'll come back to you with some rigs and baits and stuff later on. So let's get the surf blaster out then. Surf blaster 3. Lovely reel. I'll go into detail in another video about it once we've used it a little bit. You get the idea of what it's like. But you can see it's got a nice long deep spool for long casting, which is why I bought it. Put the handle on. Right on, no problem. 
Lovely smooth wheel. Oh, far away from the jump. <laughs> right, let's get it set up and see what it performs like. So, here's one of the rigs for tonight. We've got the weight to snood. And a bit longer snood, a bit higher up. And then a smaller one at the top. Basically a free hook flapper, but a long one. That'll be a close in rod for playing about with small stuff. Whatever we can find down there, let's do some plays and stuff like that. And we'll go for a pulley panel on the long distance new reel and rod. Whack it right out and see what's out there. As you can see by my breathing, it's a bit colder tonight than it has been lately. I'm also a bit rough, got problems with my chest, heart at the moment. So I'm sort of, that's why I haven't been out too much this week. I'm going to do two sessions, but it's the only session I've done this week so far. But I'm out here giving it a go now. Let us see what we can get. We'll get the rod set up. I'll bring you back soon. Let's see what we can catch. So this is the other setup. Pulley bead there, sliding pulley. Panel hook. Simple as that, quite an easy. You can get a fish, the weight goes up like that. Away from the snags. Pretty straightforward, that's what we'll put out in the new rod and reel. Okay, on this rod, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put a string of feathers on, so I'm going to bait them up. So we've got four feathers on there and a weight. I'm going to do some macro fishing, and I'm just going to bait them up and see what happens. I'm also using the big old light tonight, which is, you can see, it's got a hell of a beam to it. It's actually carp light I use for carp fishing when I'm trying to get to bushes over the other side of the lake and stuff like that. That's 3,000 meters, so it's really bright and light up heavy. We've got, um, got the name now, a Felix, uh, the new Felix on the way to sea fishing, but it's not here yet, so I had to use this one. Alright, I'm going to get this baited up, put it out, and I'll come back to you and we'll have a chat. Okay, so hello and welcome everyone. Hope you can see me really well as I've got this new light to try things out with. Let's flick it through a couple of modes, I'll show you what I can do. I can do that, which is pure white. We can go with like a tilly lamp glow. We can go with that, we can go up and down. We can do just enough so you can see me. We can do all sorts of things with light, so we'll have a play with that. But we'll just keep it on the super white for now. But at least you can see me in the pitch black, which is great. So, hope everyone's well. This is like a last minute trip. We just popped out because some of the new gear turned up, like our reels and mods that I shoot at the beginning. I will do a review on them, but I want to use them a little bit first so I can do a truthful review. I'll show you what they're like in the daytime when I do a session in the daytime. See what they look like and stuff like that. I'll tell you a bit about them. So, what we've done today, we haven't ordered no worms or any bait whatsoever. We just took what was in the freezer which is basically squid, bluey, sand eel, a uh, little bit of frozen black, stuff like that really, mackerel, sprats, and sort of a few other frozen baits. So we're going to give them a go tonight. The new rod and reel is my distance rod now, so we should be able to whack out a good 150 yards plus with a good whack. And then the rods that I normally use, which are my, my leader rods that I've had for a while, they're now me sort of mid-range rods and close in rod. If I like the pen rods and the pen reels, I'll then get another one for that. So I've got a matching pair. I'll have a matching pair of close in rods as well. So that's what we'll do. But anyway, right, so we've got nice calm tide, a little bit of waves, but nothing to worry about. Fairly flat calm. No wind whatsoever, which is great. Uh, it's very foggy. As you can see the steam coming off my breath is a little bit cold, but I'm not cold in my suit, I'm actually quite hot to be fair <laughs> so we'll have a few casts see what's about see what we can catch and go from there we'll come back with some fish and give you an update later on see what we can do but hopefully the setup's getting better and better each time I do a video 
and we can bring it on to this time next year. That'll be a nice professional setup. With great sound, great lighting. You'll be able to walk down the beach and talk to you and still film at the same time and you'll be able to hear me. And stuff like that. So the big rod's got the big baits on. The middle rod's got three small hooks on, one O's, little tiny hooks with tiny baits. Obviously just for the white and stuff like that. And then the other rod will just have a little mess around really. I've put four mackerel feathers on, trace and I've put some squid baits on the end of them. Just want to see what happens. You never know do you? Probably just going to be whiting but I'm just going to try it. Close in up in the water, see what's about. Might get a nice big pout or something like that. Might get something different. So let's try it and let's see. Time is now quarter past eight. We're going to fish the tide all the way up. Low tide was half seven. We're going to be at about one. We'll see how it goes. I'll show you some bait and stuff later on when I bring some rods in. And I'll come back later on with some other stuff. Right, so let's get this session going, see if we can get a few fish. That's what it's like without my lights, so it's a bit different, eh? Oh well, first reel in. Nothing on the big rod, need a rod. Just a whiten. Nothing special, just a little ditty one. But, better the blank, which I expected to get a few whiten anyway. So that's a good start. Let's put this one back, see what else we get. Rebate this rod and get it out. So the bait we got, as you can see, some squid, some bluey, some mussels, some heron, mackerel, more squid, all sorts of stuff in this bag here, but all frozen this time, got some razor meats, uh, you name it, it's in there, all different colours, sprats, carp bait, all sorts, <laughs> so we've got plenty to keep this going, with this big old light I can show you pretty much anything I need to now. The old new rod sitting up there, waiting for a good bite. It's very easy to get distance on this rod, and it reels in very smooth. Brings the weight up to the surface and skims in along the surface. Reel it hard enough. Whereas my other cheaper rods won't do that. And if I can show you the sea state, yeah, I can. Not too bad. It's all about having the right gear to show the right stuff. Looking alright. Not too bad at all out there. The chap fishing the next bait from us and then there's someone after him as well. But Andy fishing to the left of us. And he's little shelter set up there. And we've got a car up in the car park over there. It's a good thing about this light, I can literally show you everything. <laughs> That's how I'm set up tonight. So, let's carry on and let's hopefully get a few fish. Had a white and I've got knots on the little bait rods at the moment. I want this big squid rod to go there. The weather's absolutely lovely. Okay, so come back again soon when I reel in. See what we got then. Got a lovely blood moon over the sea. A long, long way out, but I'll zoom in just so you can see it. Okay, so another whiting, long skinny thing. Nothing like them ones I had before. Uh, they had the big bellies on them. These are long and skinny, but no weight on them. But got that on the old feather. With a bit of bluey on the end of it. So, yeah, I mean, they were me. <laughs> yeah. So, stick this one back. See if we can get some more. Mr. Whiten took a whole squid on the big rod. 
<laughs> Not really what we're after on that rod. But that's another fish. Right, I'll put it back, get that back out there. So we'll bring in something a bit big on the next cast. <laughs> Waves are getting a bit close to the rod this at the moment, so I might have to move back a bit as it is. We'll see. Still a lovely evening anyway. Approaching 10 o'clock now. The time is flying past. We're obviously not getting loads and loads of fish like we normally do because we ain't got no lug baits or road baits and stuff like that. But we're giving it a go. So let's keep trying and hopefully we'll get a bigger fish. See the water's getting a bit close to the old rod rust now. Might have to move back so the tide's still got three hours to come up. Excuse me. It's a pain because either side of me us further up where I am is a bit of a peak. <laughs> there we go. Not too many fish like we normally catch, but then we haven't got a lug, so that makes a big difference. I'm getting bites and I'm pretty sure I've got white on the two smaller hook rods. Which we'll find out in a minute. The moon's coming up nicely. idea what it's like. Oh, got a really good bite on the blue tip rod there. And you can take aim from here. Bouncing around that mad. Oh no, there can be a white in there. Yeah, there we go. Bang, 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 bang. Right. That game really in, I So, I brought that rod in. Have a tiny little wing. Don't know what's going on tonight, but they're all little tiny, skinny little things. <laughs> so, keep trying. Still catching them on the little feather ones. A little bit of squid tipped off. So, better than no fish, but expecting a few others. We'll see how it goes and we'll carry on. Keep trying. Lovely night. The moon's come up. Let up everything. Seas nice and calm. So we'll carry on and see what else we can get. All we can do is try. You can't always catch loads of fish every second. You can't always catch big ones. You never know. We've still got time yet. We'll have a go. But just proves not bringing large and bright. Fresh blacks and stuff like that. It does make quite a difference in the right night. There we go. 
right, so I'm keeping on these rods. See what else is happening. And we'll go from there. Water rolling again, another tiny little white, another little skinny thing, so we'll tend to be getting tonight. None of them big ones. Not, can't win it every time. Alright, I'll rebait it up and try and get something a bit bigger. Well, we're in again, and guess what it is, another little wide. Slightly bigger than the others, but still nothing to shout about. Really hard work tonight. Where the chaps packed up just down the row there. There's a load of foxes down there. I might have a wandering and see what they're trying to eat. Well, we're in again. We'll be looking for once again. He's in a sand. He's the white again. Long and thin one again. I don't know what's going on with all these little little kitty ones now, I don't know if they moved on or what. Or just because we ain't got a lug and the rag. I'm not really sure. We'll see from the reports of other people down the beach, aren't we? Well, it's half twelve now, I think it is, so we've got about an hour to high tide. So we'll see how it goes. See what we get. Oh, I just had a bite on the big rod. And then a better size white. <laughs> Oh, jumping. Really lively. Much better than what we have been getting. Still fairly skinny, this one. Always that would have been a decent size, but obviously a much better size fish, you can see. But there we go. Best fish of the night so far. Hopefully, we'll get a few more. Put the three rod in, nothing on there. I'm going to put this nice juicy bait out there. Let's see what we can do with that. Bluey, squid, heron, big black lug on top. Let's see what happens. Let's launch it out there. Oh, it's high pretty much now in the next sort of 15 20 minutes. So we've got the biggest depth of water we're going to get. So let's have a go. Well, it's been pretty hard work, as you know, the rest of the session. It's coming up for 20 to 2. I'm going to give it until about 2 o'clock, I think. Just don't seem to be anything out there. Pour the crab in, the fish baits. So we're going to give it the last cast or so. Pack up. Better get go. Not much more we can do. I don't think if we had the worm baits, the fish would be there. They just don't seem to be there tonight. Strange this time of year. In the dark, when you get white in the cast, as you've seen on my other videos. I've had a few, but they've been tiny little things. This is one decent one. The distance for it's sort of done its job and got the bigger fish, but not exactly huge this time. Either. Okay, so we're going to have these casts. And then it's time to pack all the gear down. Take it back to the car. You can't always have a perfect session and everything can go where you want it to go. You just got to get out there, give it a go and see how things happen. But I'll be out again soon, very soon. And hopefully get some more fish on the bank and bring some more fish to camp. I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet. So put one of the rods in for the last cast. Put a bit of chopped up black lug on there, just a small bit. Got a white. I think if I had lug, I'd have got these every cast probably. They are out there. Probably second biggest of the night. Nothing special like we had before, but right, let's run more, one more rod to bring in. Which is the big bait rod. I doubt there's anything on there. And I've already started packing them the other rods. So I'll be going back to the car. So I'll say thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you soon in the next video, hopefully with a few more fish. And another one. I probably could have got a few of these if I kept putting the small worm boats out, but I didn't have many. So there we go.
That's all my rides in.